Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got a developer diary for you for a new project I've started called Xenofarm which is going to be a sci-fi themed farming simulation. I've always really loved video games uh, that let you grow food uh, even if it's just part of a, a larger game. Um, and I've been tinkering with growing plants as a part of my breeder simulation which you can find on the Brain Blinks website. Uh, this is a kind of a simple simulation of virtual life forms and it also includes some some plants that grow and change over time and do their thing. Here's an example of one of the fancier plants I've made while prototyping some of the ideas. This one's a little more processor intensive than most of the plants in Xenofarm are going to be but it gives you an idea of what some of the fancier plants might look like, these growing, shifting shapes. One of my goals for this sim is to have each plant be its own simulation and kind of grow and change so that each plant is somewhat unique from all the others of the same species. One problem I've had with games in the past of farming simulations or growing is that they're really restrictive about where they let you plant things and how the plants look and uh, not a lot of variety or freedom to do what you want but what I'm shooting for is a more of an open world kind of thing where the plants grow and react and um, change based on the quality of the soil the amount of water uh, the nutrients and other factors so kind of um, based on real life plants but not as complicated. <laughs> I have done quite a bit of research on uh, uh, how soil works and how plants grow and whatnot but I'm kind of going to be simplifying that to make it uh, easier to understand for the player and uh, easier for me to program since I'm kind of a brute force coder. <laughs> My coding skills are just coming up to snuff enough to try this project so I'm pretty excited to get started. Okay uh, so here is the early prototype that I have. I've got right now one plant working with uh, that kind of grows and reacts according to the rules that I, a lot of the rules that I want to use for the simulation. And I've got this terrain model set up where the player will be able to just kind of glance and look at the terrain and get a good idea of what's happening. Um, whether there's enough water on the ground in the soil or enough nutrients and whatnot. Uh, I'd like to have a lot of visual clues in the terrain and the plants to kind of help the player understand what's going on. So where I'm standing now it's really dry and barren and the plants won't grow very well. Uh, this browner spot here has some nutrients but no water. So if the player watered it like I have, let's see, water, oh not that button, where's my water button? then it will get more green and better suited for the plants. So let me put out a few of the plants here. These are kinda ugly for now but they're working really well as a prototype. And I've got them sped up right now. The whole uh, the life cycles will be pretty quick in the game but um, not quite this quick. <laughs> it's just helped me debug and stuff to have it go pretty quickly. You can see this plant here is not growing as well because it's crowded out by this bigger plant. These ones over here in the dry caked area are barely growing at all. Some of them probably died out. This one over here in the green lush area is growing really well. And it has more fruits on it than a, a plant that wasn't growing as well. And these fruits are what the player will be harvesting and selling to make money to progress through the game or they can harvest and replant to make more plants. I kind of have a story, a backstory worked out where you're going to be a, kind of a interstellar sharecropper where uh, you're going out to work on the frontiers of space and your goal is going to be to make enough money to buy your farm or pay off your farm. And I've got a backstory worked out, and I'm still trying to decide how much actual story there'll be in the game. Uh, 
I want some to keep it all interesting and uh, add some spice to the game. I'm not a great storyteller, but uh, I've got some neat ideas of how I can work some narrative into the game. So the player will be harvesting these, maybe selling them at a market, and maybe once in a while a trader will come down and give the player access to some different exotic plants that they can buy or grow. Or maybe have a you know a standard catalog that the player will be able to buy kind of known seeds and plants from as they get enough money and enough equipment to grow what they want. So I'm pretty happy with the way this life cycle on these plants is working right now. Even with these just a few variables, the water and nutrients and the, the density of how many plants are growing around, you get a lot of variety and. Uh, a lot of activity. <laughs> I really like that. I want it to be kind of a riot of activity when you get your whole farm going. Hopefully I'll be able to optimize it enough that you'll be able to have hundreds of plants growing at the same time. Um, over here I have a test of a, a foliage shader I got off of the Unity Asset Store called Advanced Foliage Shader. Uh, and it, what it does is it lets you make some plants that kind of interact and react to the player's presence. You can see these fern when I walk through them they kind of shift and move as if you brushed against them. And these bigger trees when you bump into them they kind of shift and move like you ran into them. Which is, it looks really cool and uh, I'm still trying to decide if that's something I'll be able to add to all of my plants or just maybe a few special plants or accent plants because it does take quite a bit more work to set up a plant like this and excuse me and uh, more processing time processing power to actually you know make the effect happen so I'll try to figure that out I really I, I definitely want to add it on some plants because it just adds a lot of life and interest to the surroundings And like I said, I want this to be much more open world and free form than a lot of the farming simulations I've ever played. Um, the player will be able to go around. Uh, it's going to be a procedurally generated terrain, so it'll be a different setup every time. And they'll be able to find a really nice spot or prep up their own really nice spot and grow their plants wherever they want, you know, however they want, plant whichever plants they have gotten access to as they progress through the game and decide how they want to proceed. Experimenting with different combinations of plants um, hoping to implement uh, something from real life that they call companion planting so that uh, certain species will interact and um, be healthier if you grow species together. Kind of basing a lot of this on some more organic and uh, natural growing methods rather than the agro business with chemicals and huge machines and everything. The player is basically going to be harvesting all of these plants by hand. There's not going to be a lot of machinery involved. So uh, yeah, there's a good look at um, this early prototype. I'm going to be doing these developer diaries, uh, I don't know, maybe once a week or uh, twice a month, depending on how much progress I make during that time. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think about the game idea, or if you have any ideas about what you'd like to see in a game like this, I'd be happy to hear them. Just leave something in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.